Uh, hello everyone. In this video we are going to talk about interfaces and how we can use them, where to use them and why we should use them. Uh, this is a follow-up video to my last video where I talked about how to communicate between blueprint classes and in, in that video a lot of people complained why I didn't use interfaces instead of casting which is, thought is a good point interfaces are better than casting but they're a bit more complicated so I figured I should make a separate video just talking about interfaces and yeah let's just begin okay so the first thing we need is a interface class and the way we create that is go right click and we go to blueprints and here you're gonna see that we have a blueprint interface so just click that create one and we're going to call this uh, character into int stands for interaction and we're just going to put the underscore interface so let's just open that up and you see that we already have a function here and uh, but it's read only you can see read it here it says read only that that's because you can't put logic here the logic is driven by the child class of this inter interface class and we will see that in a minute so let's just rename this function I'm gonna call this overlap trigger compile save and now let's create another class another actor so blueprint class is actor I'm gonna call this class A let's open that up and the way you can use interfaces is by going to the class settings and here under interfaces you can see it's, it says no interfaces implemented but we can change that so click on this add and search for character here we have our interface click on that and as soon as you do so you're gonna see that we have this function here and this function is different than the regular functions you create in blueprints because you can just open it you can put logic in it that's because this function doesn't have any output if a function doesn't have any output it's implemented differently than if it has an output and we will see that in a minute so for now we are just gonna use this one and the way you can use that is right click on it and it says implement event if you click that you're gonna see this which this note which kind of looks like a custom event but it's a bit different because it has this icon which means it's an interface <coughs> and this is where you should put your code this is what will be called from other classes so let's put some code uh, we are gonna just destroy this actor whenever this function is called this event compile and save and so how do we call this event uh, there are a couple of ways we can do one of them is to let's just go to our character one of them is through an overlap event so let's just go to the event graph and we're gonna use our capsule component and here uh, on begin overlap actually we didn't need this on begin overlap we can actually call this event here and the way we do that is from this other actor reference we're gonna drag and say uh, I forgot what I called it overlap trigger we're gonna call overlap trigger and here you can see we have this overlap trigger message you should call this one the one that has message because this message means that we're sending an uh, kind of like alert to this class to whatever class that is implementing this event and yet yeah, there are other nodes as well because if you right click or drag here 
see overlap trigger and uncheck context sensitive you're gonna see multiple of these you shouldn't call these one you should call this one with the message right so how do we overlap with our uh, uh, class here we need we need a box collision to detect collision so add component box collision let's make this a bit bigger and let's actually add an error as well because we want to be able to see our class our actor and now let's drag this to the world so now oh actually i forgot to uncheck this hidden in game because we weren't seeing that arrow and now if i overlap with this actor it's gonna get destroyed there we go so interfaces are kind of a replacement for casting like you can do this with casting as well it doesn't need to be through interfaces but interfaces are a bit easier to handle because we only have one node here we're not doing some like casting which can be a bit messy because if we cast to uh, class a we need to call that event from here and actually let's just create a custom event casting example and we're going to call this from here casting example you can see that we have uh, one extra node which is this guy and compared to this guy which is just one node both of these would work if I try again Oops. you can see that it was destroyed so there are no differences in the usage but uh, the interface is a uh, is more clean and it's just uh, better practice to use interfaces than casting so let's just delete that another useful usage of casting is when you want to get multiple variables from a class so that's where uh, putting an output comes in because remember in fun interface functions can have outputs as well and inputs and outputs so let's just give it some outputs we're gonna give it a couple of booleans let's compile that we don't need to rename them so let's just go to our class you're gonna see that we have an error that's because the event has changed and now we can not just implement it here because this one has now a body this function now has a body that requires you to, to do some stuff so let's just say that we wanted to get some variables from here to our character and you're going to see that it has updated this node as well so this is really easy just promote this to a variable and now when our player overlaps with the box collision this event is going to get called from here and it's going to return these booleans right and we have access to those booleans for example if us if I set uh, one of these to true the middle one we're going to see that it has updated here so let's just print a string and compile now if i overlap with this it's going to say true as a message if i change the node if i change the variable it's going to say false 
and there you go so now this one is a lot better than casting because let's just run to, uh, use casting for this example we're gonna say cast to class a imagine if we wanted to get all of these three variables now what we have to do is go get a new parameter obviously we didn't rename this so get new parameter another one and get uh, yeah get new parameter 2 and this is how we are able to access it which is really messy and it's just not doesn't look good because the, like compare these two see how neat and better this one looks so let's just delete this and connect this up and the really cool thing about interfaces is that if it somehow fails to find the class that's actually implementing this event nothing will happen like if if we created another class and we don't need to rename it let's just put it here add a box collision now if we compare these two if I overlap with this one you can see that nothing actually happens but if I overlap with this one it gets destroyed that's because this one is not implementing the interface so it doesn't do anything that means that you don't need to worry about which class you're casting to you can just like put this event here and any classes that implements the interface will do something and if it doesn't well nothing will happen and we can actually have multiple different functionality for each one of these so let's duplicate this one let's duplicate class a i call this class b now here instead of destroying our own actor we're going to destroy the player we're going to say get player character and let's drag one of these class B here and move it a bit and now if I overlap with this one it's going to get destroyed but if I overlap with this one I'm going to get destroyed there you go <laughs> I was destroyed <laughs> so you can see how useful it can be how useful interfaces can be compared to casting because with casting you need to cast to both of these classes to see which one you're actually overlapping with which is not what we want and that was a quick overview of interfaces and yeah that's just that's it for our video and if you have any questions just ask me in the comments i will try to answer it and goodbye.